This is Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for July 17th, 2019. Corn market up three quarters of a cent. Soybeans down five and a quarter. Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas City, kind of down two to four here across the board. Key tokens as we look. Uh, there was a weather system that moved across Iowa today through the midday. I think that's really what limited corn's ability. It was up four to five, was down three to four, and found its way towards steady. And I kind of see a lot more of that coming. But uh, with the weather run showing that rain today, it struggled to uh, extend the gains. Uh, that started early, and uh, that should not come as a surprise. But the weather focus will be there as we work ahead. Cooler, drier conditions ahead after we have three more days of heat, and we'll see how that takes us as we work ahead. Export sales tomorrow morning will be a big nugget. We kind of see a choppy range up to August 12th. We're going to have big intraday trades, we uh, are afraid here as we work ahead, but we think we're going to struggle to extend, and we kind of look for corn to hover in on this area uh, for the next three and a half weeks. Uh, beans kind of similar token, wheat market's the wild card, and we'll see if that can come out of the seasonal here as we work ahead. Feeder cattle market down 50 cents to $1.11. Uh, $1.10 area. Live cattle, uh, you're looking at down 10 to 50 cents, and the hog market up 237.5 to 295. So, some pretty big progress there uh, for that market, and that was encouraging to see hogs step up. Uh, we got a cattle on feed report here on Friday. Market's expecting uh, the on feed numbers uh, to be higher versus placements and marketing to be down a bit. We got a cold storage report on Monday that'll give direction both cattle and hogs. And, Equally important are the export sales number, and uh, we've got some pretty uh, sharp individuals kind of forecasting that there could be something sneaky there in the hog export number. So we'll kind of watch and see and be ready to react after we see the export sales tomorrow morning. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ahn and Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.